Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? It is finally here guys, the announcement that you've been waiting for. The next big Gundam series to the Gundam franchise has been announced to be Mobile Suit Gundam NT or Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative. Gundam NT will be set in UC-0097, which is pretty much right after the events of the Gundam Unicorn series. And this series, just like Unicorn, will start as a film project. I'm guessing we'll be seeing periodic releases of very high quality OVA films, which may be later developed into a full anime series, just like Unicorn, and the first one will actually be coming out later this year, starting in November, so it's really not that far away. I'm guessing this project is probably a lot further along in its development compared to the recently announced 00 sequel. You can think of Gundam NT as a sequel to Gundam Unicorn as they're really just one year apart. But it's not exactly a sequel since we'll be getting completely new characters as well as Gundams, so you really got to think of it as an entirely new series. And apparently, this new Gundam project is part of a bigger project called the UC Next 0100 project that will be tackling the future of the UC timeline. The UC timeline, for those of you who don't remember or need a refresher, is just one of the first timelines in the Gundam anime meta series to be created and probably the one with the most series, many of which are much older than you can probably remember. The most recent Gundam anime that you may have watched from the UC timeline would probably be Gundam Thunderbolt, Unicorn, Origin, or even Twilight Axis. So it seems like they really want to bring back UC in full throttle, modernized not only for the older fans, but also for the newer fans. We know that they're going all out with UC in the very near future because this project is going to include smartphone games, manga, as well as novels, and of course, Gunpla. But back to Gundam NT, the first tagline of the series is the next destination of the new type legend. New type, again for those of you that need a refresher, is a person who has reached a new stage of human evolution. The Gundam Universe explanation is that in order to adapt to living in space, the human body evolved with heightened mental awareness, almost like having a sixth sense. They are capable of detecting other new types and are sensitive to hostile intentions directed at them by others giving them an ability to react to their opponents before their opponent even acts upon the attention. There are different kind of new types with different abilities, but basically they are humans next evolution. So the story to NT starts off with the Laplace's box being opened in Unicorn. We're gonna spoil Unicorn here, so if you haven't watched it, you might want to skip out on this part. Despite the end of Unicorn, where the original charter for the UC was shown to acknowledge the existence of new types and also their rights, the reality was the world remained largely unchanged. In the final battle of the Laplace incident, where two full Psycho Frame mobile suits duked it out with powers beyond human imagination, were basically sealed away from the public's eye and pretty much forgotten in history at this point. But now, sightings of the RX-0 Unicorn 03 are being reported, which people thought were lost years ago. Its name is Phoenix. So that's how the story starts, and we have our main character this time being Yona Bashita, a 25-year-old who is a second lieutenant in the Earth Federation Space Forces, and also the pilot of the Narrative Gundam, or Gundam Narrative. Not sure which one they're going to stick with just yet. He is a childhood friend of Michelle and Rita, who are the other two main characters. And as with many other Gundam protagonists, he also was a victim of a disaster in Australia as a child. Probably something to do with losing his parents. And then we got Michelle Luo, who is another 25-year-old that is a special advisor to the Luo company. Some of you might recognize the Luo name from Gundam Zeta, and it is confirmed that she is related to Stephanie. Michelle is also a fortune teller and has earned the complete trust of the financial world. Then we got Rita Bernal, who is another 25-year-old and also is a second lieutenant in the Earth Federation Space Forces, and also the pilot of the Phoenix we mentioned earlier. And just like Yona, she was also a victim of the disaster in Australia in her childhood. I don't know about you, but I can already smell this love triangle from a mile away. Two girls, one guy, all childhood friends. This isn't gonna end well for at least one of them. And finally, we got our new edgelord, Zoten Akanen, the pilot to the Sinanju Stein and also the rival to our main character, Yona. Not only is his hairstyle edgy as F, but he's also got a scar on his left eye, making him one of the edgiest characters since probably Sasuke. Gotta wait till he appears in the anime to confirm though. The new Gundam narrative is looking pretty bare bones at the moment, but if you remember from Unicorn, when you first saw Unicorn in its untransformed state, it was also pretty bare bones. We don't know if Gundam narrative is a Psycho Frame, but seeing how this series is focusing on new types, and Psycho Frame was basically built to allow new type pilots to control the mobile suit as if it's their own body, while also the other two Gundams are confirmed to have Psycho Frame, I can almost assure you that the Gundam narrative is gonna have Psycho Frame, or maybe even some new Gundam tech, and probably some sort of transformation. Now I think the biggest question here is, do we have to watch Gundam Unicorn or any other Gundam series before we can watch this new Gundam NT? 
From what it looks like so far, it seems like they're bringing a lot back from the previous series, as NT pretty much starts right after the events of Unicorn, which means they're gonna be connected, but that doesn't mean you have to watch anything to understand NT yet. It really all depends on how they start off the series in the first film release, and also how they choose to develop the events, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyways, that's all I got for Gundam NT for now. Hopefully they will show us more of this Gundam narrative in action soon. It's a pretty good time to be a Gundam fan right now as we just got two huge announcements in the form of the 00 sequel, and now Gundam NT, so probably also a good time to start rewatching or even watching some older Gundam series to catch up. Anyways, what do you think of Gundam NT so far? Are you more excited for Gundam NT or the Gundam 00 sequel? Which one is more hype to you? As usual, I left a poll for you guys up there, and also let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget a thumbs up before you leave, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.